when you take uh, education here in Denmark, it's it's free, and then you will get allowance. Welcome to my blog. This is the blog about this Filipino. Me! I'm living to this little country called Denmark. Good morning vlogs! Uh, today I'm here at school. Um, my school is uh, 9 a.m. in the morning. But uh, Jakob drive the two kids and me here in school. So I'm here in school 7.30. So I'm so early, one hour and 30 minutes. The reason why my camera is like keep on moving because I'm here in the chair. The one where there's a massage. You know what? I've been here in school um, almost one year in January, and then I just suddenly figure out last day that this chair is free i'm not trying this one because i thought that i'm gonna pay so i said and you know me i'm not like using money which is if i know that it's not necessary but then again when i figure out that it's free then i said oh my god i'm gonna try this every day since i come to school so early so this one is really 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 good um I tried this one where like this see. I I choose um I choose the uh, morning program where can massage my back and uh it's super super nice. Oh it's like here yeah, like if if you normally they said you can use it 15 minutes so other can uh, use it but um, since there's no people here i can stay here hour i really 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 really, really need this since it's like oh that little see they they massaging my back and massaging my legs i mean oh that lid super 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 dilated, it's like nice, super super nice. Today is, um, there's a so important thing that I'm gonna do today because um, today I'm gonna go to a individual um, interview where I have 15 minutes to, because we get some a case where we're gonna read that and then but they already sent it last day um, it's like one whole band paper there's a case and then there's three questions that we can answer and then the purpose of that uh, individual uh, interview is that um, they're gonna figure out uh, if uh, we choose our education right because in my education, as I'm saying, there's uh, three like major, the one for the kids, the one for the to the young people, and there's the one who to the people who have disabled, the one who have problems, mental, physical. But I choose the one with with the little kids because I think they are so sweet and they're easy to to work with with the little kids. Then. Um, so I'm gonna go to this uh, individual interview where they're gonna ask me some questions and then on uh, December 20 they're gonna email me if I if I get what I choose to take so um, on January it's my one year in my education so I have only two and a half year but I hope I hope I hope I hope I gonna finish that education because one thing that I have problem with is I told you the language I can't study I know I can I know I can uh, work with all that uh, uh, I can work with people I can be to the group work and everything I can come to school every day but the only make me really worried is their language but I will try my best to uh, finish that education because here in Denmark 
it's so important to have a right education because um, here in Denmark, it's so important to uh, foreigner uh, people, for example, like me, I'm a married to a Danish man, to integrate to their society. For example, first thing I do here when I came to Denmark is that we process our papers uh, where I can uh, stay here in Denmark. And then when I get that papers and been that um, approved, um, I need to study their language. And then when I study their language, I think it takes... Um, it takes one and a half year or almost two years to finish that one and I really really need to pass that one or else um, I cannot uh, it's a very very important requirements that I gonna pass that uh, language school and then because there's a lot of opportunity when I finish that school and then um, there's a level like for example uh, there's a level 5 for example if I finish the med uh, level 1 then I have to go to level 2 it's like you cannot skip that one you really need to finish from the start to the last because um, here in Denmark it's uh, free education so the, the language school that I take that I took is free and I don't know now, I think they, they pay something, but uh, when you pass that uh, education, uh, that language school, then the money will come back. I know that's the, the new rules right now, but in my time, we, we, we are free. And then when, uh, after I finish that uh, language school, I take this uh, uh, course, like um, where I take it one year, and then after that, when when I pass that one, uh, just there's a lot of people keep on walking on that, so I'm so shy. So after that language school, I take this a course where it takes one year. I think it's um, it's a course where so I can choose a education that I want, which is right now. I have now the education which is the, yeah, I call it pedago. It takes three and a half year. Uh, all in all, here in Denmark, it's so important to, to be part of the society. As a foreigner, it's so important to have an identity. It's so important when you're being in a country like for example Denmark and from Philippines and then I come here in Denmark to to have some identity who you are and also know that their language because when you're gonna go around in the city or wherever you go not all people can speak English so it's better that you know their language so you can communicate and then um, you know how to, to interact what they're talking about and uh, for me, um, it's so education is so important. Uh, that's why when I was in Philippines, even though it's so hard, also my economy, I choose to finish my school. But uh, sad to say, when I came here in Denmark, when I come here in Denmark, the education that I finish in Philippines, I'm not used to that one. I used that paper for some other uh, reasons but um, I don't want to give up I know I know it will be hard right now I know it will be hard right now but the, the, the one thing that I'm thinking is that when I get old I will have a good life because I finished my education now I'm taking the hard one where I need to to work with my group I need to read a lot of uh, texts, a lot of uh, books. Now I taking some responsibility where now it will be hard. But after a years when I gonna when I finish my school and then I need to find work and have some 
income then I will say to myself that I succeeded uh, and also when you take uh, education here in Denmark um, it's it's free and then you will get allowance allowance from the government uh, even though I'm a foreigner I'm uh, I'm a I have a privilege to 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 have that allowance but there's on there's uh, requirements for that when when you go to school you need to come every day when there's a class or else that allowance will take from you like you need to pay that back if you suddenly not coming to school or not pass the exam of course they will take it from you that's why i take it seriously like i decided while i'm doing youtube i can i i realize that it takes a lot of time doing youtube that's why i really need to take action to to, to balance my time like now I said I'm gonna do live stream only weekends so weekdays I can focus to my school so that when I come home I can also focus to to my family to the kids uh, that's why I decide to have a schedule on my live stream to YouTube because YouTube it takes a lot of effort a lot of time and school also take a lot of effort a lot of time a lot of energy you know that's why i decide to do live stream only weekends where i don't have school and then during weekdays i can i need to focus on my school um so that when i come home i need to focus my family because if you not uh manage your time you will lose one of them it's either you will lose my school if I too much focus to my YouTube and then uh, maybe I will not have time to my kids to my family if I too much YouTube and only school so I really need to decide to myself what is important right now for example right now it's important that I gonna focus to my school I'm doing this vlog to inspire all uh, Filipina around the world that if you have a chance to go to school and it's free and then you get allowance, grab it because it's super super important to have your own identity in a country where like uh, not your country like I'm from Philippines I'm here in Denmark it's better like oh like for example do you know Rona ah yeah the one who's pedagogy it's like something like you are on that country it's very very important so guys to those uh, Filipina to those uh, people which is foreigner to a foreign land uh, enjoy your life if you have a lot of opportunity grab it because today is important also the future is important so take it seriously your life life is only one you need to to make it a blast you know I'm Rana I'm um, now I'm 30 years old and uh, for me, I need to take it seriously, my life, what I want in life, what I want in my future, what I want to my family in the future. So, right now, maybe it will be hard for me, but when I'm going to think my future, it will be easier for us when I finish my education here so I can have good uh, salary in the near future. So, guys, if you have some questions to me, that uh, you think it's interesting that makes you curious you are welcome to ask something about me and uh, I hope I will inspire people to to their life because not because I'm so perfect or not because I have a good life but because I want to inspire people to do better that they can do better that you need to 
to up your standard to your life don't give up but of course it's very very important to for me uh, for me it's very very important that i have a very supportive husband that if without him i cannot uh, continue this education because i'm saying it to you it's super super hard uh, that's why also I understand some of Filipinas here in Denmark that not take education because language here is so 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 difficult so yeah hope um, I inspire you to this video I hope I um, you you learn something about uh, from me or I hope you you know me a little bit better so yeah bye bye